Hello, I'm Bushra from QA Milestone and in this series we are learning Cypress for testing anything that runs in a browser. In the last video we learned a very useful then command. In this video we'll learn aliases. So you can alias DOM elements and can later access them for reuse. Aliases also overcome a limitation of then command. Then command lets you work with the subject yielded from the previous command and it requires you to work with that object right then and there. But what if we would like to work with the yielded subject at some later point in time? The answer is to create an alias. In addition, you could also use aliases to share objects between your hooks and your test. The most common use case for sharing context is when dealing with cy.fixture. As command is used to create an alias. It requires an alias name to be passed as a parameter. The name of the alias is later used to reference within a cy.get or cy.wait command using at prefix. Okay, so let's go ahead and use aliases. Let's create a new spec file. We'll copy the code from the previous file. This code is available on GitHub. And the link is available in the description box. So here, our first command is to find the menu bar and then we are fetching its children and then we are finding a particular child and finally we are clicking on it. So imagine we have to use this menu a lot to navigate to different pages. So do you think it's wise to repeat all of this every time? Well, aliases help to simplify your code. Let's break it here. And we'll create an alias. So like we have discussed, we'll use as command. Let's give an alias name. Menu. Now let's refer to it using cy.get. And we pass the alias name with add prefix. And then we proceed with what we were doing here. So if you have to navigate multiple times, then this would save time and provide more clarity. So we have created an alias here using as command. Then we refer to it in cy.get. Now let's see how aliases overcome a limitation of then command. So here, say we don't want to work with this text right here. So let's remove this. We also don't need to store it in a variable. Instead, we'll return it from the then command. Now we'll create an alias. And let's use it now. And then you can click on your object. So we are not using this object right here within this then command but we have moved it out right we are using it here but this isn't a very good example I tell you because we are using this just in the next line but I'm sure you get the idea and understand how powerful it could get so I hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next video